Now here, we need to match these subtraction problems to the right pictures. So there's 8 minus something, 8 minus something, 8 minus something, 10 minus something. 8 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2. Okay. I need to find a picture where I have 8 and 2s. Would it be this one maybe? I have 8 in total. I can subtract 2. I can subtract 2 again and 2 again and that leaves 2. So it matches with that picture, right? Now, pause the video and try to find what picture matches with this, this and this. Okay, 8 minus 1 minus 4. I'm going to find something where we have 1 as a group, not here. Here's 1, but the total is not 8. Here's 4 and 1. Okay, it matches with this one. You take away 1, take away 4, and 3 are left. 8 minus 3 minus 2, I think it is this one. Minus 3 minus 2, and 3 are left. And then the last one, of course, would match there. 10 minus 2 minus 2 minus 1. And 5 are left. The teacher had 10 colored pencils. Matt took 2, Sarah took 2, and Andy took 3 of them. What can we ask? I mean, it doesn't have any question, right? What kind of question can we ask about this situation? Any ideas? Matthew? Matthew's idea is, what colors were the pencils that Andy took? <laughs> Matthew, this, you need to make a math word problem, okay? We could ask, okay, there were 10, and Matt took some, Sarah took some, Andy took some. We could ask, how many are left, right? How many? That's always a good question for a math word problem. How many are left? And now, shall we write an addition or subtraction? Or both? You could write a subtraction, right? Because there's pencils and some of them go away. Or some, you know, these students come and take some. There's ten at first, and then two of them are taken, another two are taken, and another three are taken. Okay? But to solve it, we can think of addition first. We can add three and two and two. You know, how many did they actually take in total? Because 2 and 2 makes 4, plus 3, that's 7. So they took a total of 7 pencils. 10 minus 7 equals 3. There's 3 pencils left. And then lastly, a rubber ball costs $2. And Matty has $9. So he buys 3 balls. What can we ask? What kind of question can we ask? We can ask... Well, one thing we can ask is, how much do those three rubber balls cost? Another thing we could ask is, how much money will Matthew have left after he buys those balls? So let's say we solve how much money Matthew will have left. Matthew would have nine dollars. And then he buys, so money goes away from him, right? He buys one ball and another and another. Again, we can solve this by first adding these. Adding how much money those three balls cost, right? Two and two and two makes a total of six dollars. And then nine take away six would be three dollars. Matthew has three dollars left if he buys those three rubber balls. Okay, well done with this lesson.